Okay, uh, this is a part of a series. There should be an annotation on the screen leading to the playlist. I recommend watching that. Now, we've been working with said uh, to do some substitutions, and uh, we've been working with this file that we've created for this tutorial, just a basic little text file with some random stuff in it. Well, what we're going to do here is we are going to say, I showed you how to, you know, uh, substitute stuff. So if we want to substitute every uh, capital T with lowercase t, course give it a file name we can do that I showed you that if you want to do more than one command you can put the semicolon here and go like this and we can say all capital D's to uppercase E's and we got that but let's say you had a lot of things you want to do uh, and your line would just get extremely long here uh, or you would have it could get sloppy basically we can put all this stuff into a text file and tell said to look at it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to create a file. It's going to be a text file. You can call it whatever you want. I'll call it uh, my said script. And I will say, let's substitute all capital T's with lowercase t's globally, all lowercase e's with capital E's globally. And if I type this right, I want to say w. Uh, asterisk dot forward slash uh, forward slash no global on that otherwise we'd wipe out every word but that should remove the first word of each line if I typed it properly um, and so now what I would say is said and I give it dash F telling it to look at a file what file are we going to look at uh, this my said script file and what file are we going to modify? We're not going to put the I in there, the dash I. If you've been watching the series, you know what I'm talking about. That would modify the file, uh, the actual file. But we're just going to just modify the output of it. So we're going to hit enter here. And as you can see, uh, we have replaced all lowercase e's with capital D's. All the t's are now lowercase. And we removed the first word from each line. So you can put as many commands as you want inside this script file. And it might clean up your code a little bit. Yeah, you might need a second file. Uh, you know, there's other options. Like I said, you can do it in line with semicolons. Uh, and you can also break things down if you're actually writing a shell script uh, and put them on new lines, just as you would any other command. Um, but that is working with script files in said, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, uh, my website is filmsbychris.com. That is Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Check it out. I also hope that you subscribe and like this video and watch my other videos as well. I put out uh, uh, shell script videos on Mon every Monday, and I have uh, other videos uh, currently on Wednesdays and Fridays on other topics, programming, computers in general. Uh, and uh, might be adding other videos on other days if I ever get the time. Anyway, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.